What's up guys welcome back to HMHT so as you can see here Apple has just released a new iOS update and it's 14.6 developer beta 3 now don't mind the developer portion of it as this update is now available to public beta testers so irregardless of the profile you have this is an update that you can update to and also this comes after almost a week and a half since we saw the release of beta 2 for me on my iPhone that you're seeing here you can see the update size that it came in at exactly 347.1 megabytes which means that there isn't a lot that changed because it's such a small update size right and then obviously this is not all that Apple released if we go to the Apple developer website you can see some other updates that were released macOS Pixel 11.4 beta 3 iOS 14.6 beta 3 iPadOS 14.6 beta 3, watchOS 7.5 beta 3, tvOS 14.6 beta 3. So that's the last one. There was no HomePod updates and all these updates, just in case you're curious, they are available to developers as well as public beta testers. So you can easily update to them should you wish to. And then obviously if we go into settings and then go to the about this iPhone section here you can see the new build number that we have and it's 18F5065A. We now have an A build number at the end of this update which sort of implies that when it comes to iOS 14.6 we are nearing the end of this update and this sort of makes sense since WWDC is coming very fast it's actually going to take place on June 7th to 11 so you can see that we are just almost three weeks away from WWDC kicking off so that's the new build number and also before on beta 2 just in case you're curious we had a build number that had a B so we jumped from a B to an A and there's something good that came with this update as you can see the modern firmware version has been updated we have 4.04.00 that's the new build number that we have and now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update first one has to do with the app store so when you open the app store for the first time it's going to load and some people are seeing a new splash screen i actually skipped it so it's a new splash screen that tells you about privacy so when you open your app store for the first time that's something that you're going to be seeing and also when it comes to podcast there's a new splash screen that's going to show up for you just telling you that you can now support your podcast creators and also not only that but the apple tv app has also been updated with a new splash screen that lets you know that you can sort of you know sort your itunes and see your movies in one place when it comes to this and i want to show you something else that was updated with the find my network so when you open it and put your air tag that is connected you can see that i have an air tag and it's called tag team so if i put it in lost mode and then just click continue you can see that after i click continue i have the option to add an email so before you only had the option to put your phone number but a phone number is sort of something that's meant to be private you don't want anyone or a stranger getting your phone number so you can put your email address or use an email address should you wish to and once you click there it's automatically going to fill in using your apple id email address that's connected with this device so that's something good which leads to even better privacy when it comes to airtag and the find my network now also with air tags there's something that was updated when it comes to an error that was this so if you have an iphone that has a u1 chip like the iphone 11 or 12 then the error where you could find your device by just clicking there and you sort of get like a developer menu that has been patched up and if you click there you won't see that menu i won't i won't be able to show you since this is an iphone x but yeah that has been patched up if you are updating your watch os to a new watch os update and you are getting some errors the code of ios 14.6 actually mentions that in future you'll be able to have a quick menu where you can sort of refresh the pairing that's going on between your apple watch and your iphone 
and then be able to update your apple watch again i'm curious to see how that's going to look since i do a lot of watch OS videos and how that's going to work because usually if you unpair your apple watch it takes a long time to pair it again so that could be a game changing feature when it comes out now hong kong when it comes to maps is going to get the look around feature that is available in most major new big cities like new york times square and so on so if you are a person who likes to use look around then in hong kong that is coming to you or to your location pretty soon so that's something that came with this update and then also something else that i want to show you this is probably the last thing that are it's, it's changed with this update if you go to the privacy section of this iphone so we want to go to privacy here and go to tracking so if this was sort of grayed out before for you on ios 14.6 beta 1 or beta 2 then check have a look again it has been sort of addressed with this update to on beta 2 the major issues or bugs that had to do with the privacy or tracking were addressed so if your issue wasn't addressed on beta 2 then check again with this update as it was fixed and also something else that was fixed the last thing has to do with airplay and handoff so if you have airpods and you play an audio on another device another apple device the audio handoff experience is working uh, as good as it's supposed to and also screen mirroring and airplay are working as they are supposed to now basically those are all the new features and changes and bug fixes that came with ios 14.6 whether you are going to be updating or not let me know in the comment section below and most probably we are going to see the release of this update somewhere between the 17 to the end of uh, may since that's when the new iMacs are coming and most of the updates and new features that are offered and accessories are going to be supported with this update so from the 17th to the end of may that's when i look forward to this update being released now other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to hmht and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace